Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Pokemon White 2 Super Ultra Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Grandmaster Shaman, your host for this exciting series. And uh, I gotta say that it's been a wild ride up until this point as we've come across a number of crazy Pokemon. Um, we almost got blown back uh, last episode by the two trainers and now we're gonna take on uh, Charon himself, but uh, in case you missed the last two episodes, we're going to do a quick team recap. So we got Angry Bird, the Dodrio, it's got Super Fang, which is a flying type move, Bug Bite, Ice, Telekinesis, Rock, and Air Cutter, which is an electric type move, and we've also got Juan, the Moltres, which was a crazy cool encounter to get. Um, it's holding the Rocky Helmet, well, it's actually wearing the Rocky Helmet, I guess, more accurately. Uh, and it's got Water Pulse, which is a Ghost-type move, Mud Shot, which is a Grass-type move, Fusion Flare, which is a Flying-type move, and Karate Chop, which is a Bug-type move. It also has the ability to Swarm, so it powers up that Karate Chop just a little bit, um, at least when it's in a pinch. So it's, it's, it's like Torrent or any of those other uh, moves that the starters usually have, but it's for Bug-types, so it's super cool. It's also a very good physical attacker. Um, but all the moves are randomized, so we don't know whether it's going to be a special attack or a physical attack um, until we actually have to learn the move. So, here we go. This is Charon, the Pokemon... Oh, actually, it's my bad. It's Thomas, uh, the very first gym leader, and we're going to die. Well, it was a good series, you guys, and uh, I hope you liked uh, the... Those, these three episodes, but uh, damn, that Landris is absolute power. Okay, so we're going to Super Fang it. We're going to hope that that does some pretty good damage. Um, okay, so that was actually not that bad. We're going to Super Fang it again. It's Attack Mist, so that's pretty cool. And it has Flame Body. Alright, so we're going to Bug Bite this thing. That did absolutely nothing. It's probably because I'm burned and that was an ice type move. And my uh, physical attack decreased, which I believe Bug Bite is my only physical attack. Alright, we're going to air cutter this thing. That's a... Sp oh my god, okay. We're going to switch out for Moltres now. I think Angry Bird's done for this battle. That sucks. That's actually really bad. This is actually really bad. Alright, we're going to Water Pulse this thing. It doesn't affect it. Oh my god, it's a normal type. Fusion Flare. It's flying type move. So is it just a... I don't know, because I don't have any fighting type moves. Alright, let's Fusion Flare again. And, uh, that didn't do anything, and it's got flame. Oh, my God. This Landris is kicking my ass. This is really bad. This is actually really bad. All right, let's Fusion Flare. That should KO this thing. Oh, my God, it didn't KO this thing. All right. So, we got one Pokemon down. And we almost died doing it. Angry Bird's level 13. So we're down to 12 HP, and he's about to send out a Swalot. So we're going to switch over again to Angry Bird, who has 18 HP, which is really bad. And that thing is level 14. Okay, so we are in a bad spot. I don't have any... I don't have anything. I don't have anything to heal or burn. This is... I didn't expect to have a Flame Body Pokemon this early in the game. Which I probably should have. Let's be real. Alright, so I got... Alright, that's doing about 6 damage to me. We're going to Super Fang this thing, get it down to half. Super Fang is kind of OP. Oh no. You are a piece of crap. You know that? Alright, Air Cutter. Oh my god. Techno Blast, dude. What are you a fucking Genesect now? All right. Okay, so we got one more move, and then I'm gonna have to switch out because a heal blocked me. Oh man. 
Jesus. Okay, that was a bit scary. Oh, one only has... And I, I can't use this, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, that's scary. I forgot. So heal block only does actual moves. All right, I might just do this uh, fresh water real fast because I have a super effective move. Ice is super effective against the Swalot, so I'm just gonna heal back to full. All right, it's using that magnet rise again. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Um. It's doing, ah, man, my, my attack stack gets destroyed by burn, but it's super effective. It's doing some stuff. So let's bug bite this thing. Techno blast. I should be good. I should, I should defeat this thing. All right, that was that was scary. That Swalot was pretty power. I'm not gonna lie. That Landris though is really what killed me. All right, Psycho Boost is a Ghost type move. It's got 70 power and 100 accuracy, but it's gonna harshly lower my special attack stat, which kind of sucks. Um, I actually want to double check that real fast. But we got our first badge, guys. Um, that was a, that was a scary ass battle. Like Charon and his Landris almost wrecked my day. I'm not gonna lie, but luckily we were able to get out unscathed. Oh, it's Sucker Punch, which I believe is a fighting type move. I'm pretty sure I had that move um, towards the beginning of the game, but it's absolute garbage. Um, let me double check this real fast. Um, this oh shit. It's a physical attack. That's actually kind of wild. So, Psycho Boost, the special... I don't know if my audio cut out right there, but uh, I stopped hearing music from this thing for a second. So, if I did, I'm sorry. But Psycho Boost being a physical attack is kind of wild because it lowers my special attack, but my special attack doesn't matter when hitting this thing with a physical attack. Um, and my physical attack is actually higher than my special attack, so that's actually pretty good. And uh, we beat we beat the first gym. That's pretty cool. Um, what sucks about the next part, though, is that we only have the one encounter. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up because Jesus, um, it's TM27 Swift, which. I mean, maybe that's a good move. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, I haven't actually seen Swift. All right, we got the cross transceiver, which is super cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm not reading any of that. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, the Pokestar Studios thing, I'm going to super speed through that thing. Like, it's going to be absolutely wild because I'm going to... I mean, I can't, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm not going to put you guys through that kind of a pain. Uh, I mean, Pokestar Studios is kind of ridiculous, and it's going to take me a minute. So let me heal real quick before we uh, think about moving on to the next uh, gym, which is in Burbank City. Um, I have no idea. It's been a while since I played this game, so I have no idea what level um, her Pokemon are at. So I'm just going to keep going and if her the pokemon in her gym are about the same as mine i might grind up a level or two um but all things considered um not a bad start we only lost one mon we missed one encounter this gobite i'm running away from it it not only because it's level four and i am like level what 14 but because this stupid thing is minimized like, if you guys watched the, uh, or at least noticed, I, kn I know um, I speed through the uh, the training uh, montage. I, I think I put the thing at, like, times six speed um, or something. But if you noticed for a, a split second, I fought a Gabite, and the thing minimized, like, four times, and I couldn't hit it with anything, so I just ran away. <laughs> 
because it's kind of nuts. My Pokedex was upgraded. Yay! Yeah, let's not hear your explanation again. Can you, like, please not? What's going to be kind of crazy is that um, Charon and uh, my botanist rival are going to catch up to me here in a second. Oh, man, a Gyarados? So there's Dodrio, there's Kyogre, and there's Gyarados on this route. That's kind of crazy. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Alright, so we battled this guy. What's he got? Anything in particular that you uh, want to show me? A Pharaoh Seed. A Pharaoh Seed. That's pretty interesting. It's level 12. That's not too bad. Um, I'm going to super fang this thing. Get it down to half off the bat. Because, I mean, that's OP. Super effective. Shadow Claw. I thought this thing was a dark type. God, fuck, I did it again. <laughs> of course it's guard. <sighs> of course it's a dark type. It's it, The move is not a dark type move. It's probably a fighting type or bug type move now. Okay. So, now that that's out of the way. Okay, so this thing just did that, and I'm going to psycho boost it. Boom! That didn't do anything. That's pretty dope. Okay, super effective. How about we bug bite it? Volt switch. Does he have another Mon to switch with? No. <laughs> I was going to be like, dude, those strats, but he doesn't have another Mon to switch with. So it's not really strats. Okay, so that puts me at level 15. Not too shabby. Alright, so let's battle all the trainers we can because uh, levels are going to be important. Especially in this uh, Nuzlocke because they can pull out anything. Tackle, again, could be a 150 base power move for all I know. And it could just annihilate my entire team. But... That's, that's the scary part, and um, I made it so that most of the badass moves come later um, in a Pokemon's progression, so, I mean, we could be running into a lot of crazy-ass moves here um, shortly. Quick Guard. You know, I don't even remember what Quick Guard does, to be honest with you. I just, uh, whenever some, uh, whenever another Pokemon uses it, I still hear hit them and they just usually get blown back so I don't I don't know I don't see the problem wow that was a quick battle you guys just throwing it out there did you get annihilated that fast Charon yeah sometimes there's two Pokemon I get it I get it dude I got P.E.K.K.A. berries in case I'm fucking poisoned you know what I need god damn the berries that protect me from burns Charon you and your goddamn freaking Landris. Alright. I'm looking, I'm looking at your awesome Pokemon. Don't worry. I see you. Cofagrigus. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder what this thing has. I'm going to super fang it. Okay. What's cool about Super Fang, though, is now it's a flying type move. And there's nothing that completely resists flying type. So even ghost types get hit with this Super Fang now, which is super cool. Um, it kind of makes it a little overpowered, to be honest with you. But I'll take whatever I can get. So, if it's a little overpowered, it's a little overpowered. I mean, I have the TM. The TM for Horn Drill. So... I mean, it could be worse, I guess. I could be using that on a Pokemon that, for whatever reason, has no guard. you imagine? 
If I run into a Pokemon that has no guard, I'm giving it that TM. A focus band. Alright, we're going to battle this trainer real fast. We're going to go grab that Pokeball. And then we'll battle another set of twins before we get to Verbank City, I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh, dude, the HM Slave of all. Bidoof. The ultimate HM Slave um, under normal circumstances. So we're going to super fang the shit out of this thing. Um, boom, bring it down to half. It uses Hex. Um, we're going to air cutter this thing. Boom, Electro-type move, super effective, KO, get out. Alright, I'm probably going to give this thing a potion before my double battle up against those two twins. Because I still need all the experience that I can get. Um, so, that would be nice. I think we'll switch these two around, though, because Juan needs some more training. Alright, twins. What do you got? You think you can beat Juan and Angry Bird? I don't think so. I don't think you got much of a chance, to be honest. Alright, so... Oh, my... I stand corrected. That is a Celebi and a Crocodile. Drought. I don't have any fire type moves, so that'd be super cool. Um, so let's fusion flare the Celebi, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna straight super fang the crocodile. Boom! Not very effective. Okay, so flying types not very effective. It could be a rock or a steel type. Okay. So let's mud shot it and then we're gonna heal Angry Bird. Cause I'm a bit scared, I don't want that thing to die. Okay, a lot of people are missing the attacks. Come on, Moltres, eat that up. Oh my god, that's a bit scary. Um alright, let's water pulse it. And we're going to Psycho Boost the Crocodile. Damn it! <laughs> it used Protect. Fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, Tri-Attack is kicking my ass right now. Uh, psycho Boost the Crocodile. Boom! Wow, that didn't do anything. Okay. Metal Burst. Try attack Ah, man. Ah. Ah, it burned me. That's not good. Alright, we're going to Fusion Flare the Crocodile. And then we're going to potion up Angry Bird. Alright, this is a bit scary. I'm not going to lie. This is this is really starting to scare me. Alright, Angry Bird, eat that up. Oh, man. That's a bit... That's not... That's not okay. That's not okay. Okay, Crocodile didn't die. Oh, it ate that? Really? Shit. Should I stay in with Juan? I should, shouldn't I? And then Angry Bird's going to need to heal really bad. Juan can take this. Come on. Boom. Crocodile is KO'd. So now it's a two-on-one attack of Celebi. Juan avoided the attack. Oh, man. Okay. Um... So, I'm going to heal up Juan. And I'm in a really bad spot. So, I'm going to super fang the Celebi. Ice Shard. Boom. 
I can do this. I can do this. Uh, fusion flare wasn't very effective, right? So if we mud shot the Celebi and we air cutter the Celebi, we should be okay, right? Oh my god, that wasn't very effective. Okay. Oh, we still I was I was scared, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. It's trying to learn toxic. Well, so far, Mudshot has done nothing. It has 45 power and 60 accuracy, so I guess we'll take Toxic over that. Thank God Burn doesn't do damage outside of battle, because I would be dead right now. I would 110% be dead right now. Alright, I got some Great Balls, which I greatly appreciate, lady. Alright, um... Well, we're just gonna... Speed this up real quick. Move past these crazy things. <laughs> it's okay, Roxy. You don't need to throw a temper tantrum. Alright, we're going to heal. And then we are going to go catch a Pokemon and go train for a little while. Which is uh, going to be interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm going to need more potions. Oh, super potions. Alright, I'm going to take seven of those. Can I sell that sea incense that I picked up for no reason? $4,800. I will take it. Red card doesn't do anything. Red shard doesn't do anything. An X speed. Alright, I'm going to keep the focus band. And I'm probably just going to give it to Angry Bird. For no really good reason. Other than that, it helps for the time being. Um, Alright, so we got some super potions just in case. Um, but right now we're going to go and try and grab some more money. Alright, we got a nest ball. Alright, yeah, let's go grab these workers. Alright, so, we got our next trainer right here. Oh, man. This game's been kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. It's been, it's been uh, one... Crazy thing after another. Alright, unknown A. It's kind of sad that this thing will probably know more than just hidden power. Um, toxic is a dark type move. I wonder how much power or, or accuracy this thing has. Um, 100. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, so we're going to fusion flare this thing. See what happens. Used Quake Guard again? I think doesn't really help it at all. Alright. Karate Chop. Not very effective. <laughs> Use Zen Headbutt. Which doesn't do it almost anything. And it gets hurt from Rocky Helmet. Use Quick Guard again. And I'm going to Water Pulse it, which is a ghost type move. And it's super effective. Man, if only I knew that from the start. Alright, so one's almost level 16. That's pretty good. Got some mad experience from the uh, unknown, which is kind of uh, crazy if you think about it. Alright, random minor person, dude, whatever. Hippopotas. Alright, and we've got ourselves a mole trace. And let's see, what does this hippopotas think it's capable of? Because can it truly beat my mole trace? Uh, attack order? Holy. Okay, that's not good. 
yeah, fusion fire this thing. Acid. Not very effective. Karate chop. It missed. Attack order super effective. <laughs> Oh my god. It crit one. No, that's so ah. Oh. Fuck this game. It doesn't aff it's a ground type. Of course it's a ground type. Damn it. I can't believe my Moltres just died. I can't switch out to anything anymore. I can get another encounter here, but damn, that's that's rough. That is so uh, unbelievably dissatisfying. A crit attack order. Attack order killed me! A freaking Moltres. I can't, oh my god, man. I'm so sad, I'm so disheartened right now, and I'm just staring at my, my layout, and it's, it's a mall trace, and it's, and it's, ugh, it's dead, it's dead, man. I'm so disappointed. Like I couldn't I couldn't be any more disappointed. Crunch. Oh man. And I was so happy. If you guys watched my uh Heart Gold randomizer nuzlocke lock that I might may or may not finish. I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. I probably should. But I got my very first encounter in the game was a mole trace, and I was not able to catch it. And so being able to catch it this time w was super cool, and I was super pumped and excited about using a mole trace in the in the playthrough. And it died already. Ah oh, man, I couldn't be more disappointed. So now I only have one Pokemon left. I'm glad I didn't run into any Pokemon on this thing. I need to go uh, heal my Mol or my uh, Dodrio, and I got to put my Moltres in the box, the dead box, uh, before I go and try and catch another Pokemon. God, man, I'm so sad. Let's go catch a Pokemon before the end of this episode, and then, you know, we can... Oh, man. I'm going to catch one inside the, the place here. Right here, right here. This is the one. A pseudo-wudo. God. Go oh, Dodrio, my uh, what? No, I don't, I didn't. I didn't heal. I didn't. I didn't heal. I didn't heal. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Um, yeah, throw a nest ball at it. One, two, three. 
No, I, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> Damn, okay. I'll take it. An ice fire type. That's an actually really cool pairing right there in terms of um, typing. I wonder what this thing knows. Ah, oh, man. I'm still very sour about what happened to my mole trace, and I'm going to have to grind real good. Um, what does Brock have? It's level 12. It's a lax nature, so it increases defense and decreases special defense. It's a really good attack and defense, but really bad special attack and special defense. It speed's pretty good. And it's got sturdy, which is pretty cool. Uh, weather Ball, Slam, Shadow Punch, and Thrash. So Thrash is a goddamn ghost type move. It's got 75 power. And then this is a special attack, which is pretty bad, actually. And then Slam is a fighting type move. Interesting. Well, I need to go back and actually heal this time. That's that's the that's the goal is to actually accomplish the main objective of the game and that's to not die and so far I'm failing miserably at it so uh, I'm going to get both my pokemon up to level 20 because I only have two of them and uh losing one is a high possibility uh right now um so, thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you click that thumbs up button down below and leave a comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And we're going to be uh, coming to you next time with the next episode of this series. We'll start off with a gr grinding montage, and um, then we'll go right in um, to a couple more battles at the uh, whatever place that is before going to, to the gym. And then... Um, then hopefully we can actually not die in the gym. That would be super cool. So uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.